You know, being a farmer and being an outdoorsman usually go hand in hand. For many years, an event called the Georgia Outdoor Blast has given these folks an event to scope out the latest in hunting, fishing, and camping gear. The Monitor's Ryan Nakan reports from Macon. For Mike Day, being an outdoorsman is much more than just hunting and fishing. It's mostly about being a dad and spending time with his three kids. I grew up in the outdoors hunting with my dad and uh, I enjoy it. It's a peaceful experience and uh, I like to pass it down to my kids. He's using his time today to attend the third annual Georgia Outdoor Blast. He and thousands turned out for this event at the Macon Centriplex. The blast allows hundreds of vendors to show the latest in outdoor equipment. It's kind of the annual kickoff. Um, you know, deer season's not until September, but the hunting seasons are coming. People are starting to think about it. it gives them a chance to get out, put the camo on, come down and see all the new products, um, all the vendors. You know, we've got companies here from all over the country, really. And um, gives them a chance to see all the, the things to get ready for hunting season. We get to interact directly with the consumers in the marketplace, which is not something we get to do in other venues. When we sell to retailers, we don't get to actually talk to the individual customers and explain about our products and give them additional insight on them. So being hands-on with the public here is very helpful. A lot of people come to these things, they come just because of this event, they don't really know anything about it, they come in to see what's happening and you know, it's, it's educational as well and we try to hit where we can. Guns and bows, knives and boats. If you can think of anything that is used for the outdoors, it was probably displayed and available for purchase at the blast. Kirby says agriculture is a key to this event. Most of these folks that here at the show, you know, they grew up on farms, they still live on farms. If they don't, if they didn't, they're at least hunting on farms. So, the, you know, it, agriculture and, and the hunting community go hand in hand. It's really the same folks. For most families that come to the Georgia Outdoor Blast, it not only gives them a place to start new memories, but it gives them a place to recollect on past experiences. I can remember once we got that bass in the boat, we high five, we hugged, we woohooed, and end up actually mounting the, the mounting the fish, and it's actually on a piece of driftwood on our wall right now. And those experiences, uh, there's no money in the world that could replace those memories, not only for myself but for her as she grows up as well. As you can tell, the days are a close knit family, but when it comes to the outdoors, mom is usually MIA, and I'll let young Brianna explain why. She's too fancy. Why is she too fancy? She's always um, um, not going hunting, not going fishing. So mama's missing out. Uh-huh. Oh, you've got to love the great outdoors. One of the few places that gives dad the chance to make some family memories, even if it is minus one. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Ryan Nockham.